For members of the performing arts community, the stage is a second home, and after much time away due to the pandemic, each show feels like one step closer toward a return to normalcy. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live from the Control Center to explain. Hey, Madonna. Hi, Chris. This is true for so many creatives, including those part of the arts-friendly incubator Scranton Fringe. The organization is presenting a theatrical performance this week based on The Simpsons television show, and I spoke with the talented people who are eager to get back on the stage to perform it. Sword fighting and the xylophone were both part of Saturday's rehearsal of Mr. Burns, a post-electric play. It's billed as a love letter to live theater and the resilience of Bart Simpson through the ages, directed by Scranton native Simone Daniel. This show is a massive show, and I think especially considering how out of practice everyone has been, they're working twice as hard, but I think we're all twice as grateful to get to have the opportunity to do this again finally. The production kicks off Thursday at the People's Security Bank Theater at Lackawanna College, featuring talent from Philadelphia, New York City, and right here in our region. I play two roles. I'm Jenny in the first half, and then I get to play Marge in the second half. Kimmy Leff has been part of the local performing arts scene for nearly two decades. Post-pandemic, she's thrilled to be back doing what she loves with the people she appreciates. The theater community for me is like family, their second family, and that's very much a support structure. It's nice. It's like breathing again. Elena Narman is a full-time actor based in Philadelphia. She says it's great to be traveling to communities like Scranton again. I felt like alive again the second I could get back in rehearsal with my peers work on something. I mean the second you can hear an audience react again to what you've been doing it just makes you remember why you wanted to do it so much in the first place. Celebrating creativity in northeastern Pennsylvania is the mission of Scranton Fringe. Ticket sales support the artists and help the industry rebound. If they see this show, it's going to create more shows for them to see year-round, more events, more live music, more visual arts. It's, they're, they're contributing to an ecosystem. If you can't attend the show in person, you can watch it live streamed in the comfort of your own home. To learn more about showtimes and how to purchase tickets, head to our website, pahomepage.com. Chris, back to you.